Hello everybody and welcome back into the fort. Today we're going to be talking about a Pillow 14 for the Gitrog Ravenous Ride. I know that probably a lot of you are playing with the Outlaws of Thunder Junction cards. I myself had a draft the other weekend and I did probably the best I've done in a very long time. I was playing Red Black Outlaws and I really loved that strategy, but apparently it was no match for my friend Megan who was rocking Abzan Creature Nonsense. The scariest of all those creatures was this new Gitrog monster, and even when she milled it, she was able to get it back, and uh, I wasn't able to overcome it. The Gitrog Ravenous Ride is a 5-mana 6-5 with Trample and Haste. Whenever the Gitrog Ravenous Ride deals combat damage to a player, you may sacrifice a creature that saddled it this turn. If you do, draw X cards, then put up to X land cards from your hand onto the battlefield tapped where X is the sacrificed creature's power. It also has Saddle 1. Saddle is a lot like vehicles where you tap a creature with power 1 or greater to get on the back of the Gitrog in order to trigger that mount ability. The goal with this list is to highlight some of the craziest, most powerful cards in Magic's history that probably have a downside or two, but it won't matter too long once the Gitrog sacrifices them. A good example of this is Rotting Regizar, which is a 3-mana 7-6 that has the downside of at the beginning of your upkeep discard a card, but if Gitrog has anything to say about it, you're not going to make it to that upkeep. Phyrexian Soul Gorger is a 3-mana 8-8 with that cumulative upkeep of Sacrifice a Creature. Hopefully it doesn't survive that long. Uh, Shakedown Heavy has a way to draw some more cards, being a 3-mana 6-4. Uh, but if you don't want to get that attack trigger, once again, you can just sacrifice it to the Gitrock monster. Hunted Horror is a 2-mana 7-7 seven, seven with Trample. When it enters the battlefield, yes, you give an opponent two green centaur creature tokens. Maybe just give them to another player and strike a deal with them so that you could attack freely on somebody else. Demigoth Titan is a 4-mana 11-10 when it attacks or blocks, sacrifice a creature. Uh, once again, hopefully you won't have to attack or block with this thing. It just needs to jump onto the Gitrog's back. And then Demigoth Woe Eater is a 4-mana 7-6 that says at the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a creature. But this is the key. When you sacrifice this creature, each opponent discards a card. You draw a card and you gain two life. This wouldn't be a Powers Matter deck in Golgari if Yargle and Yargle and Multani were not in the deck. Uh, original Yargle is 5 mana for a 9-3. Yargle and Montani is a 6 mana for an 18-6. Draw 18, put 18 lands onto the battlefield. That's just scary. Let's get a little tricky with it with these next three cards. We got Gerard, Consuming Blob, and Beanstalk Giant. Beanstalk Giant will give you a little bit of ramp early on in the game, but then if you cast it for its creature side, its power and toughness is equal to the number of lands you control. If you just dumped a bunch of lands onto the battlefield and then play this thing next turn, you're going to draw even more cards and play even more lands. This is just, this is gross. Consuming Blob's power and toughness is equal to the number of card types among cards in your graveyard, and its toughness is equal to that number plus one. And then it says at the beginning of your end step, create a green ooze creature token with that same power toughness text. This is a way to ensure that you almost always have something to sacrifice to the Git Rock monster if you're starting to run out of creatures to sacrifice to it. And then Gerard Gugari Lich Lord is a four mana 2-2, two -two, but it also says it gets plus one plus one for each creature card in your graveyard. Three mana to sacrifice another creature. Each opponent loses life equal to the sacrificed creature's power. So yes, this is another big creature that you could feed to the Gitrog, but at the same time, if you don't have Gitrog for some reason, you can start sacrificing some of these giant creatures to its second ability to drain the table. Exponential Growth is a sorcery for XX Green Green. Until end of turn, double target creature's power X times. Unnatural Growth is an enchantment for one green 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 that says at the beginning of each combat, double the power and toughness of each creature you control until end of turn. The final card I'm going to be talking about today is Goreclaw, which is a 4 mana 4-3 four, bear with creature spells you cast with power 4 or greater, cost 2 less to cast, and also whenever Goreclaw attacks each creature you control with power 4 or greater, gets plus 1 plus 1 and trample until end of turn. This is just going to help you smooth out some of your turns to cast some of these giant creatures I've been talking about, but also giving your whole team trample on a big turn could end the game out of nowhere. So there you have it, 14 cards for under $14 that can help you absolutely destroy your friends. 
Did I miss anything? Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you next time in the fourth.